Lagrange's method of multipliers. Question 1. Solve x into y minus z into p plus y into z minus x into q is equal to z into x minus y. The same question can appear like this also. y minus z divided by y z p plus z minus x by z x into q is equal to x minus y by x y. That is, if you multiply this equation by x, y, z, you will get the previous question. So, both the questions are same only, same procedure. So, for if the question is given like this, you multiply throughout by x, y, z, you will get this question. That is the first point I have to tell. So, this data is given. The question is x into y minus z into p plus y into z minus x into q is equal to z into x minus y. Now, this is capital P, this is capital Q, the right hand side the entire term is capital R. So, this is of the form capital P, P plus Q, Q is equal to R. So, just writing for capital P, capital P is equal to x into y minus z, Q is equal to y into z minus x and R is z into x minus y. Now we have to frame the Lagrange's subsidiary equations are dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r. This is the procedure of Lagrange's method of multipliers. So dx by, we know the value of p which is x into y minus z which is equal to dy by q value is y into z minus x is equal to dz by z into x minus y. This is equation 1. So, taking the Lagrangian multipliers are 1, 1, 1. So, multiply by 1 divided by 1. Multiply by 1 divided by 1. Multiply by 1 divided by 1. So, what will happen? dx, now dx plus dy plus dz is equal to x into y minus z plus y into z minus x plus z into x minus y. That, that's what is given here. Now, D is taken as a common term, D into X plus Y plus Z. Now, if you expand and simplify, you will get 0 because here XY, here minus XY cancels, minus XZ plus ZX, this will cancel, YZ minus YZ cancels. So, all the terms gets cancelled and finally, you will be having 0. This part, you do it in rough work. Expand and simplify, you will get 0. Okay? So, the next step will be So, hence D of x plus y plus z is equal to 0. Integrating we get. So, integration of D of x plus y plus z is equal to in integration of 0 into dx which is 0 only. So, integral differential gets cancelled. So, you will be getting x plus y plus z which is equal to 0 plus. We have to include some constant because we are integrating. So, that constant I call it as a. So, x plus y plus z is equal to a. Now, we go for the step 2. That is taking the Lagrangian multipliers 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z, we get each ratio in equation 1. Equation 1 we know dx by x into y minus z, dy by y into z minus x, dz by z into x minus y. This is equation 1. So, what you do is you multiply and divided by 1 by x, 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by y, 1 by z, 1 by z. The value is totally not altered. So, these two gets cancelled, these two cancel, cancel. Now, you add the numerator. You uh, this xx gets and the yy cancel, this zz cancel, so 1 by x dx will be there. So, 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy, 1 plus 1 by z dz. In the denominator, you will be having y minus z because this x and this x cancel, yy cancel. So, the y minus z, z minus x, x minus y. Now, this is plus y here minus y 0, minus z plus z 0 minus x plus x 0. So, this also will come the same format as the previous case. So, the next step will be 
So what we have now is 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz divided by 0. So this is nothing but 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz should be equal to 0. On integration, so integrating both sides, we get integral 1 by x dx, integral 1 by y dy plus integral 1 by z dz equal to 0. So integration of 1 by x dx, we all know that it is log x. This is log y, this is log z, is equal to some constant. But that constant can be in logarithmic format also. So we introduce log b. So log b is a constant. So this step can be written as log into x, y, z. This is in multiplication. When you split uh, by logarithmic rules, we can write like this. So log into x, y, z is equal to here log b. Log, log gets cancelled. Therefore, x, y, z is equal to b. This is second part of the answer. Hence, the general solution is function of a comma b equal to 0. Previously, we found out a. And uh, now we found out b. So a function of what is a? a we already got x plus y plus z comma. What is b? b is x, y, z. And that should be equal to 0, where f is an arbitrary function. Hope you have understood this problem of Lagrange's method of multipliers. This is an important question. It can, the question come, can come in these two formats. Be aware and solve the problem without any risk. Thanks for watching this video. Nandri.